position. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sarge, and we just got Kingslayer back onto the Warzone scene earlier this weekend. And um, I haven't really touched it up until recently, and so you're going to be watching some gameplay of me running solo in a trios version of King Slayer. At least that's what's out as of right now. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, how the game mode works, basically you collect a lot of kills, and um, the teams with the higher killing sprees will be labeled as the kings of the game. And if you eliminate the kings, you get more points than just regular kills. And once you hit a threshold of enough points, you win the game. And so the whole goal is for the number one team to collect the most kills. Um, this is very a, a lot easier to do when you're with a group. But as a solo, it can be very difficult. And you really have to focus in on going for just the kings. And so I'm going to recommend the loadout that I'm going to be using. Um, or a weapon in general, and that is the SPR Sniper Marksman Rifle. Um, in my previous Kingslayer videos, I use the Car 98. Um, what makes the Marksman Rifles very useful for this game mode is that you can snipe in on the Kingslayers as you're parachuting in. Um, and that makes it really easy to collect really quick kills that amount to a lot of points. And so uh, you're going to see me do that. And it's very difficult in this game mode to stay alive unless you barricade yourself inside buildings. But if you do that, um, you have the chance of being dislabeled or you can lose your, your king ring. And if you're stuck in that position, you're not going to be racking up a lot of kills. Um, it's always better to drop hot, always better to go in hot. If, to increase your chances of winning, especially if you're playing solo. So you'll get to see that. For my loadout, I'm pretty much using what the standard meta is in Warzone for the SPR, and that's the Mono Suppressor Long Barrel. That's the SPR 26 TAC Laser. Then I'm using the SPR Optic. Um, that is a personal preference. And then I'm using the Norma Mag in this situation because Norma has a faster bullet velocity. Um, so that's going to be crucial when you're parachuting in. And so uh, that is just my recommendation for this, but it's not limited to that. If you saw my opening clip, I was using the Dragoon to snipe those two kings as I was dropping in. Um, and the Dragoon works, so either either setup works. I'm just using this one specifically just to test this one out, and for some reason I ended up doing really well. Pairing this up with the Kilo with the 100 round drum mag. That's very important for this gun because the Kilo obviously is a meta weapon and stacking it with a 100 round magazine you can take out multiple groups without having to reload and that's the whole point of that build anyways you're going to see me die a lot in this but respawn and try to focus more or less on the objective and come out with a win as a solo so that's very difficult to do in a kingslayer especially now that a lot of people know how to play it um and so you'll see how very close i get to almost losing so Enjoy today's video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Head in this way. Enemy loading. We're exposed. You're losing ground. I need close air support on this target. Loader 2-0, good copy. Enemy soldier incoming. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. 
Enemy I need UAV support on this target. This is Tracker 3-1, good copy. Strike get back. Target. You're cleared hot. This is Striker 3 1. Good copy. Strike him. Top goal drop. Oh, oh, that's hard. Closing in. Be hit by a UAV. Big old kill. Splash. Good kill. Yeah, he can keep on the bottom. Enemy dropping into the AR. Enemy dropping into the AR. 